Hey YouTube, it is Nicole here back again on this almost Thursday morning. I hope you guys are doing great out there and welcome back to Nicole's View. So I just want to give a quick shout out to my um, new sub subscribers. Um, thank you guys for subscribing. Um, it's been quite a journey so far. I mean, I started out with 60 plus uh, subs and now I'm almost up to 500 so thank you guys so much and here's to me continuing um, I got quite an uptick with my last two MJ videos and thank you guys so much for the views um, those two videos got um, combined got almost 5,000 views and for me that's a pretty big deal because you know I am a little channel that is trying to grow so I thank you guys so much for the feedback your comments and um, subscribing so thank you so much but let's hop into what's going on in the news apparently LeBron James uh, Los Angeles home was vandalized when a couple of dirty racist creeps came over and decided to vandalize his home with a racist graffiti and I am reading this from MSN sports and it says on Wednesday morning LeBron James Los Angeles home was vandalized with racist graffiti James was not at the house. On Wednesday afternoon, James faced the media for the first time since the incident and delivered a thoughtful response to the racist vandalism. Speaking to reporters ahead of Thursday's Game 1 of the NBA Finals, James thought back to Emmett Till, who was lynched in Mississippi in 1955 at 14 years old, and made a moving statement about race in America. James said, as I sit here on the eve of one of the greatest sporting events that we have in sports, race and what's going on comes again. On my behalf and my family's behalf, but I look at it as this. If this is a, sh is a shed of light to continue to keep the conversation going on my behalf, then I'm okay with it. My family is safe, they're safe, and that's the most important. But it just goes to show that racism will always be a part of the world, a part of America. Hate in America, especially for African Americans, is living every day. Um, and even though it's concealed most of the time, we know people hide their faces and will say things about you when they see that smile on your face. It's alive every single day. I think back to Emmett Till's mom, actually, and the reason that she had an open casket is because she wanted to show the world what her son went through as far as a hate crime and being black in America. No matter how much money you have, no matter how famous you are, no matter how many people admire you, being black in America is tough. We got a long way to go for us as a society and for us as African Americans until we feel equal in America. And it says, according to USA Today Sports, the LAP LAPD is still investigating the incident. No arrests have been made as of Wednesday afternoon. So there you go. Now, it's nice to see that he spoke out, you know, about race in America. Many people were very upset, or many people in the black community were upset with LeBron James because they felt like his voice could have definitely been needed when Tamir Rice was gunned down out in Ohio. They wanted him to really be that voice to help, but, you know, he was just kind of trying to sidestep it, and it just goes to show. It is a reminder. I've said in my past videos when it comes to these type of stories, it doesn't matter. It does not matter, and for the life of me, I'm wondering, for someone of his stature, where was, there was, what, no security, security cameras? No one should be able to even get near this man's home. I mean, that alone is unbelievable to me. But yeah, if he didn't have the security like we thought he would, it's pretty amazing that they were able to find his house, figure out that he lived there, and do this. So I don't know if this is a wake-up call for him, but it's just not him. Many of them need to wake up because what we are living through right now, it is ugly. It is ugly. And many will say, well, it's always been ugly. It's just being, you know, brought to the surface. And that's true. It is being brought to the surface. And you can't ignore it. You can't pretend like it's all okay. And, you know, your celebrity won't protect you. Your money won't protect you unless you stand up and fight against it. 
and those out there who want to, you know, help fight it too. Because being under the system, it's never safe. And not just, you know, for black people, but white people too, especially white people who are standing up in the fight against it. They are being killed as well. Like the story um, with the guy that was on the train and harassing the Muslim girls and whatnot. And how there were like three, I want to say white men on the train that were defending those girls. Even in the system, they will take them out too. Those who are fighting against it. So LeBron, I hope this is a wake up call for you to to be more proactive when it comes to this. I see what Colin Kaepernick is doing. Maybe join up with Colin Kaepernick. Have his back. Help him with his organization and get out there and really fight against it. Because he definitely has the means, but he has to, you know, follow through. Because if you don't follow through, it's just, it means nothing. It's just pissing in the wind. You, you have to do something to help fight this. So, I hope they find who did this. It's, you know, pretty disgusting that folks can just, you know, I mean, of means can get, can get away with this. So, yeah, they need to find who did it, and I hope they do. And, um, yeah, I, I definitely want to see LeBron, you know, help to do more because we've had many in the past who won't do a, a damn thing, i.e. Jordan. So, Anyway, let me know what you think about this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.